I first found out on Monday that there was a possibility that we had heard of a case before the 27th of August and immediately instituted an investigation and it was confirmed to me very late on Monday evening uh, that we had actually been informed of, of one case on the 20th of August and then a second case in the same family uh, associated with Godstone Farm uh, during that same week. One of the reasons which I've instituted this independent investigation is to look into all of the uh, factors relating to the response to the outbreak as well as the factors that led up to the outbreak because we mustn't lose sight here of course uh, the outbreak should never have happened in the first place but I don't want to prejudice or prejudge the outcome of that investigation. The advice which we gave after the case which came out on the 27th of August um, would have been different if we had actually put the pieces of the jigsaw together. What we would have done then would have been to advise that there shouldn't be contact between children and the large animals. E. coli, um, which is a very unpleasant disease as everybody knows, uh, although most of the cases that, that come up are associated with food poisoning or person-to-person -person contact, when there is a case comes up that's due to animal contact, the, uh, the action which we have advised in the past, which has worked successfully, is rather than closing the farm, is to actually uh, advise that there shouldn't be contact between the large animals, which are the, usually the main sources of E. coli, and uh, the children. I don't think we would have closed it on the 27th of August because normally, uh, in the past, the action of uh, reducing contact between children and animals without closing the farm has worked. Uh, I think it is possible that had that advice been different on the 27th of August that we would have had fewer cases. In fact most the majority of the children were infected before then so it would still have been a very large and very unpleasant outbreak.